Hello everyone, if you are facing a deadline for a certain project or assignment, then you know how important it is to learn how to calculate overdue days in Excel. You can easily do that by inserting the formula and apply it to all the cells. So this is Jihadrian Jim from Excel Demi and today we will learn several methods on how to calculate overdue days in Excel. In our first case, we want to use if with subtraction formula to calculate overdue days in Excel. At first, we have name, subject, submission date and overdue in column B, C, D and E. We also have last date of submission in B13 cell. At first, we have to go to the E5 cell and then we have to insert our new formula. Let's focus on the formula first. In this case, we have if to submit a date. This formula checks if the value of D5 matches with the value of D13 or not. If it finds any match, then it will return the string submitted today. Else, it moves on to the next part of the formula. In the next part of the formula, we have from if to days overdue. This portion checks the value of D5 is less than D13 or not. If it is, then it submits no overdue. Otherwise, it returns the difference of days with the string days overdue. So let's hit the enter button to get our result. Now apply the formula to all the cells. You will see where it has found no overdue, it has shown no overdue. Where it has found any overdue, it has shown the number of days with the overdue string. But where the submitter has submitted on the last date, it has submitted today string. So that's our first method. In our new case, we want to utilize if and days function to calculate overdue days. To do that, we'll use the same data set of the previous method. At first, we'll go to the E5 cell and insert our new formula. Let's focus on the formula first. Here we have days D5, D13. This portion calculates the difference in days between two dates belong to D5 to D13. Now, in the next portion, we have the whole formula. It mainly checks the cell d5 is greater than d13 or not then it returns days function value with the string days overdue if the logical operator is true otherwise it shows no overdue so let's hit the enter button and you'll see you have no overdue option now copy down the formula to every cell then you'll see where it has found no overdue it has shown no string no overdue where it has found any overdue it has shown the number of days with the overdue string. So that's our second method. In our new case, we want to combine if with dated if function to calculate overdue days. We will again use the same data set of the first method and then we'll go to the E5 cell. In the E5 cell, we will insert our new formula. In this formula, at first we have dated if D5 D13 to D. This returns the difference between D5 and D13 in days format. Again, we have is error to dated if function. This portion checks if there was an error in the dated if function or not. It returns true or false value depending on whether it has found error or not. Now, let's focus on the whole formula. The whole formula calculate overdue days if the previous is error function returns true. Otherwise, it returns no overdue. Let's hit the enter button, then you'll see you have no overdue. Now, copy down the formula to apply it to all the cells. Where it has found overdue, it has shown number of days with overdue string. Where it has found no overdue, it has write, it has given no overdue option. In our new case, we want to use VBA 
to calculate overdue dates. To do that, at first, we'll go to the Developer tab and click on the Visual Basic. In the Visual Basic Editor, you have to select the Insert option and click on the module. Then, you will have a new module in the Visual Basic Editor. As I have already written my code in my notepad, so I'll copy it down by using Ctrl plus C and paste it in my Visual Basic Editor by using Ctrl plus V. So, let's focus on the code first. At first, the macro declares two integer variables, which is cell and j. The variable cell is used to iterate through the rows 5 to 11. But the value of j is mainly used to store the number of days till the task is over to the due date. Then we have due date variable which sets a due date at first in 1.11.23 in the due date variable. Then we have used the for loop to iterate through each row from 5 to 11. After that, for each row, the macro checks the value of the cell in the column 4 against the due date variable. If the due date is matches with the value, then the macro writes submitted today in the corresponding cell in the column 5. If the value in the variable if has found the greater than value than the due date, then the macro calculates the number of days by subtracting in the due day variable in the cell. The function returns the value as ABS function. The ABS function mainly calculates the absolute value of the function. The macro then writes the number of days overdue corresponding in the column 5. It also attached the overdue if it finds anything else. Overall, the macro is simple but very effective way to calculate overdue days in Excel. Now, if you press the run option, then you'll see you have got your final result. So, that's it for today. You can use any of these methods accordingly or you can download the practice book from the link below. Hope this will help you. If you have any questions, suggestions or feedback, please let us know in the comment section. Or you can have a glance at exceldemy.com. Thanks for watching us. If you like this video, please consider subscribing us for more content like this.